this very, very special day. Uh, this is sweet in many ways, for today we bid an emotional adieu to some of our beloved company. Now, it is it's difficult to convey the sense of family, camaraderie and team spirit that we are so fortunate uh, to experience in this business of show. But if you will afford me um, a few minutes more of your time to acknowledge the incredible talent and commitment of some of my SHIZ graduates <laughs> of 20. <laughs> from friends, family, mums, dads, cousins, aunts, husbands, and lovers. <laughs> so where better to start? Well, he has a heart of gold, and he's as solid as the rock of Gibraltar from where he hails. It's a little chica chica. I would love to be wooed by him. It's Mr. Nolan Edwards. <laughs> And on occasion, my deputy deputy head sisters, <laughs> Jessica Alice McCluskey. Ballroom, dancing through life with panache, the exquisite Jasmine Lund. <laughs> now, this journey after us has been life changing for so many of us. Coming through the pandemic with the hiatus we were enforced to endure, but none more so than our. Scottish beauty. Five years with this show. of the 
show. Deserving special recognition is our Mega Meg. Yes! <laughs> All overseen by, please join us, Christian Knight. <laughs> Dance captains, there is no coincidence that they share the initials of a superhero universe. <laughs> Stacy, what a legacy you leave. Ten years with this amazing show. <laughs> and I think, oh, I think we should well present you with a, a medal for long service, darling. And surely, if you look in the dictionary, when you read Stacy Maguire, it says Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half years, a lifetime of fun and bowling. The handsome swain that we could perhaps call the spare Winky Prince. Take a bow, Mikey Colburn! <laughs> in abundance with this young gentleman who joined the company and made his professional debut as Chistery. <laughs> Meridian Mark. We have here in this building a force of nature to be reckoned with. A kilowatt energy that could light to the entire Emerald City. It's our cheeky little munchkin. Bick. <laughs> Buck. It's Bark. It's Nick McClay. young lady. What a tragically beautiful face mm. you have. It is an incredible journey that you've been on. An amazing young mother of two and our wicked witch of the East, Miss Nessa Rose, isn't it? <laughs> qualified enough to talk about this amazing young lady and I'm going to hand over to my wonderful Wizard of Oz. Well the reason I'm just going to say a few words about this person is because when I played the wizard first time round back in 2016-2017, this lady here had already been... Woo! She had already been a member of the company for three years because she joined in 2013, she went out on tour, UK Allen tour, as part of the ensemble and second cover for Glinda. Then they said come to London, so she came to London, joined the ensemble and became first cover for Glinda. Then they said out again, off you go. UK, tour, Ireland tour, as Glinda, and to the Far East, Dagenham, I think she reads. <laughs> Broadway, full on Broadway, no. Then they said please, please come back and make Glinda your very own here in the West End. We are talking about 10 years, and take it from me, there is no better company member than this girl. She is funny, she is very naughty. <laughs> She's hardly ever a diva, just seems to <laughs> She absolutely lights up backstage with her fantastic energy. Ten years of her life, she's had a child, she's been through the pandemic. She gives 150% every single time. I know I speak for those of us who are staying and all the crew and everything. We're going to miss you, kid. We really, really are. Helen Wolf! <laughs>
Belgium. Can't you believe my luck? When I knew I was going to be your head sisters for this year. For me, darling, you've always had the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Your future is unlimited. You have defied gravity with panache and aplomb. You went to see the wizard and you made me proud. Oh, I love you. It's your Elphaba Lucy Jones. Amazing story, um, and a bit like a bad smell, I sort of keep coming back, so. Um, <laughs> to our amazing um, theatre and front of house staff, you're all absolutely incredible. To lovely Ron, um, <laughs> and Pete, Richie, Anthony, who are in charge of leading our insane orchestra. Um, thank you for laughing at us when we've gone wrong, and smiling with us when we've done a good job. <laughs> they say not all superheroes wear capes, and there are about a hundred of them, are unsung heroes behind the scenes who never get enough recognition for what they do. I'm talking about our wiggies, our wardrobe department, our stage management, automation, lighting, sound. Um, this show simply wouldn't exist in all its glory if it wasn't for the small army of people who work so tirelessly, day in, day out, to make this show the spectacle that you see here before you today. <laughs> to uh, Michael, our company manager. Where is he laughing? Michael? Michael? Or Uncle Michael, as he likes to be called. I think he's hiding. I don't think he wants to come on. Um, who steers this ship with some of the driest wit we've uh, ever come across. And although he says he's finally excited to block my number so I stop pestering him, um, I think he's actually going to miss me a little bit, and as I will him. <laughs> Um, to my dresser and friend Tom, who gives me a drink before I even know I'm thirsty, a paracetamol before I've got a headache. Couldn't have got this to you, uh, get through this without you, pal, so thank you so much. Um, and next goes to this glorious bunch of people who stand up here with me. Um, to our swings, amazing understudies, their energy and enthusiasm is absolutely second to none. Being able to deliver this monster of a show uh, six days a week, so effortlessly, I'm in absolute awe of you all. Um, we've been so incredibly lucky to be surrounded by your outstanding talents um, and this story simply can't be told if it isn't for all of you. So thank you so much. Um, and then finally to you, our audiences, 
who come and see us time and time again. It's amazing that we look out after 16 years and we're still packed to the rafters day after day, week after week, and it really reminds us of how special this show is. Um, I have a real vivid memory of um, being in this theatre about 15 years ago. I was sat up there in the dress circle years before I even thought about pursuing a career in this industry. Um, I remember being so amazed, uh, not just by the spectacle that I'd just seen, but witnessed the whole story was led by two strong female leads. <laughs> um, the message of resilience, standing up for what you believe in, being unapologetically yourself, and most important, to be kind, were the things that I truly believe makes this show such a wonderful piece of theatre. <laughs> the fourth and final time I shall be saying goodbye to this show. <laughs> um, leaving a job you love so much is so unbelievably uh, hard. Um, I'm lucky that my other role I have in life is much set to continue and that's to be a mum. Um, so in the wise words of Glinda the Good, let us be glad, let us be grateful, for I am both. Thank you. right now because the show is such joy to perform and the reason that you are all here today and the reason that some of you feel the same way that we do about it is because it is pure joy there is nothing like when you're on this stage if with these people doing this thing there's nothing like it and it has been the greatest joy I've just loved every single second on this stage um, I hope if you love the show, I have made you proud. I hope if you know me, I hope if you know me, I have made you proud. Uh, and these people, I'm so grateful to be a part of this particular gang, and I hope I've made you proud. Thank you so much. If you do know me, I'm Lucy, by the way, hello. Uh, I, if you do know me or if you've followed my career at all, you'll know that this was it for me. This was the guy, this was the one. Um, and it took me 11 years to get this one. It's, it's been entirely worth the wait. Um, I've loved it, I will love it, and I will look back on it so fondly mainly because I've got to do it with this incredible human being standing next to me. We, we, we have a really good relationship, everyone on the stage. There genuinely is not a single person. Hal said at Walmart today that she wouldn't have over for a cup of tea and I feel exactly the same in the whole building. But honestly, I have to say, I don't know how I would have been able to stand this without, would do this without you. I love you so much. It's been a complete joy, particularly when the previous Glinda was one of my best friends and when she was leaving and I was coming in, I was like, no! <laughs> but then, like, luckily, you are a complete legend. Uh, thank you so much for your support. We have felt every ounce of it. Uh, Alphaba is awesome and will continue to be in the very capable hands of Alexia Kadeem. If you helped me, thanks. You know who you are. Um, I, I love you all. I, I'm going to stop because I'm just going to keep talking. Please, everyone.